Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union, joined down the line by General Secretary Matt Rack. Now Matt, you've asked for this video update as a matter of urgency because you've just very recently received via email a pay offer from the National Employers and that offer is 2% on all pay rates with effect from 1st of July 2022. So let's have your initial reaction. I think my initial view is going to be the same as every other FBU member anywhere in the country. Uh, I'm absolutely outraged that the employers have got the nerve to offer us a 2% increase in pay in the middle of the cost of living crisis. Uh, and on the back of the work that our members have undertaken over the past few years, in particular uh, helping out during the, the COVID pandemic, it's absolutely outrageous, disgusting and disgraceful. Now, Matt, in the statement that you've just put out, you called it an insult to firefighters. And I think that's something everyone in the fire and rescue service, certainly on this side, would agree with. Why on earth do you think the employers have insulted firefighters in this way? Sam, I really couldn't say. You've got to wonder what planet these people are on. The, the process that they go through, the employers, is that all the employers across the UK are consulted by their national negotiators as our chief officers. So chief officers have had an influence on this and individual local employers have had an influence on this. And you've got to wonder what it is they've been saying in those meetings. Um, they come around fire stations, both of them politicians and chief officers, telling us how much they value their staff, our members. But when it comes to it, when the chance comes to actually do something to improve the lives of uh, people working in the fire and rescue service, they sit back and, they, and this is what happens. We get a 2% insult of an offer uh, and it's it's just staggering. Yeah. No, it's pretty staggering, Matt. Now, you called an emergency meeting of the Executive Council. It's literally just finished um, and a statement has now been issued. So what's the next steps for the union now? Yeah, so the Executive Council, uh, I think the view of the Executive Council was unanimous uh, in, in sharing my views about uh, what's, what we've just received from the employers. But we're a democratic organisation, it's the members pay off and it's the members decision, so we will consult with members. That means that we would urge people to attend meetings at fire stations and in for emergency fire controls. Every brigade committee across the country should meet uh, and feed back the response to the Executive Council. Uh, and we'll make that decision on or after the 18th of July. Um, I suppose that bit of it, Tam, is easy because I, I suspect there'll be very few people, if any, who think we should pick up the 2% uh, offer. Uh, the, the next question is more difficult and that's when what do we do about it? Because it means launching a major campaign to try and shift the employers, shift chief officers and also, frankly, shift the government. That's the challenge that we're, we're now facing. OK, Matt, now the statement does actually talk about industrial action, so it's certainly there on the table. So I suppose for all members now who are confronted with this, how can they have their say on what the union does next? What what are you asking them to do and participate in? Well, yeah, absolutely. Take part. Tell, tell us your views. Tell your local reps your views. Uh, but also, I think we really, and it's not a pleasant discussion, but we've got to sit down and discuss how do we shift policy? Because this this, this decision, OK, it's an insult from our employers, but behind that is central government. They hold the purse strings and they're the ones who've been squeezing public sector workers pay for almost 12 years now. And we've got to shift them. I'm sure that uh, a lot of our members have been following what's going on in other industries, on the railways, with the RMC dispute, with the postal workers now balloting for action, teachers discussing balloting for action. I think workers have had enough across the country as we're endlessly told to tighten our belts while some people do very, very well, and the richest people in the country, frankly, get richer and richer each year, while ordinary people suffer, and that's not acceptable. And I think there's a growing mood in the country to change direction. We want to be part of that. We've got to do that if we're going to try and win a better pay rise and start to give people the wages that they need for the professional job that they do.